which high-ranking German military officer advanced furthest into Russian territory, fully following his plan. It was Field Marshal Friedrich Paulus, the creator of the Barbarossa plan for the invasion of the Soviet Union. He was the only one among the German war criminals who testified as a witness rather than a defendant at the Nuremberg trials. Interestingly, while in captivity near Moscow, Paulus lived in a private house, grew flowers, and lectured at the military academy. Despite his actions, he was not really punished. In 1953, he returned to Germany, living near Dresden, engaged in scientific work. Paulus's story is remarkable. He was born on September 23, 1890, in the village of Guxhagen, to a poor family of a prison bookkeeper and a choir leader for inmates. Understanding the poverty of his situation, he strove from a young age to escape it. After school, he tried to enter a naval academy, but was rejected due to his background. Eventually, he joined the army and soon became an officer, thanks to his intellect and integrity. In 1939, Paulus was promoted to lieutenant general, and he began developing the plan to invade the Soviet Union. The plan's authors assured German leader that the Soviet Union would fall within four months at most. Paulus advised Adolf to attack the Red Army immediately, focusing on the northern territories to capture Moscow. In the summer of 1942, Paulus's troops, numbering 250,000 men, were near Stalingrad. Victory in this region was strategically important for Germany. However, the German army faced supply problems. After delivering fuel, fierce battles began near the city. In the first weeks, the German army captured or destroyed about 50,000 Soviet soldiers. But fuel problems persisted. The Luftwaffe supported Paulus by bombing the city from the air. But October rains turned the roads to mud, complicating supply efforts. The Red Army continued its attacks, pushing the Germans to the outskirts of Stalingrad. Adolf demanded they fight to the end, but the army lacked food and weapons. During the winter, about 30,000 German soldiers perished. On January 30, 1943, Adolf promoted Paulus to field marshal, stating that field marshals do not surrender. However, Paulus, demoralized and ill, surrendered to Soviet troops. News of the defeat at Stalingrad quickly reached Germany where mourning was declared. Subsequently, Paulus in captivity called for surrender and the overthrow of Adolf. At the Nuremberg trials, he stated that he was as deceived a soldier as his subordinates. This caused an outburst from Keitel and Göring. In Germany, Paulus was considered a traitor. Friedrich Paulus died on February 1, 1957, on the eve of the 14th anniversary of his army's defeat at Stalingrad. His ashes are buried in Baden-Baden, next to his wife's grave.